If you put God in everything you do, come on somebody. You're going to make it. You're going to be successful. You're going to win. I wonder could I have said this a little better. Let me think. Let me think. I wonder could I have been more helpful to somebody. Let me think. Could I, have some, could I have shown someone some love today who was starving for affection? Or did I just simply, oh, sh- that girl just wants some attention. Instead of looking for a way to say some things better, we ought to look for a way not to say things at all. We ought to just learn how not to say anything at all. I had a very, I had a very, I had a very, humiliating situation a very humbling situation Saturday before last I met a young lady here and I said boy your face looks familiar I said who are your people and she told me who her people were and she named one person in particular I said oh I don't like that man I did not like him man I said I did not like that man he was a teacher in the East St. Louis school system I said he was a bully he thrived on making people afraid of him I said he was a jerk. I did not like him. And oh, she just laughed. I said, oh, he was a horrible man. And he was. Yesterday, near the end of rehearsal, she came and sat down beside me. And she said, I just wanted to come and share this with you. She said, on last week, you offended me greatly. Because you said some things about my uncle. She said, though they may have been true. And though you may have really felt that way. She said, Sometimes, Pastor, it's good to keep your opinions and your comments to yourself. She said, because you don't know if I was intending to come to this church, join this church. And she said, by what you said last week, I may have never come to this church ever again in life. So she said, sometimes it's just good if we don't even voice what we want to say. And I looked that lady in her face and I said, ma'am, you are so right and I am so sorry. I didn't try to justify myself because I remembered everything I said. I did say he was a jerk. I meant it. I won't take it back. I just wished I had not said it to his niece. Because I got some nieces that'll flat cuss you out. You talk about their Uncle Levi. (laughs) Might even fight. You talk about their Uncle Levi. You To my face, you're going to say my uncle is a jerk? Oh, no. Come on, baby. Let's do it right now. Right here. And right now. And so it was, a, it was an humbling experience to me. And, and I wish there were more people in my life who would tell me, Pastor, I don't think that was right. You know what I said to that woman? I said, ma'am, I said, just forgive me. Please forgive me. I said, sweetheart, sometimes I say some stupid stuff. (laughs) Clean over there going, true, she wouldn't know. She's never heard me say anything stupid. (laughs) Nobody in this church has ever heard me say anything stupid. It's just other people. And I want you all to know something. I want you to know something. I'm a man. As a man, I say stuff that may not be right. Sometimes in my man mode, I may say something that's absolutely absurd. In my man mode, I may say something stupid and offensive. You have every right to address the man. Pastor, I didn't like that. That wasn't good for your for your position. That wasn't good for my position. So I'm taking inventory. I'm taking inventory. Uh, 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 Just the last 24 hours made me look at myself and say, now I said what a jerk that man was. Look at what a jerk I was. I said something about that man. I didn't like him. And I said, I don't even know a living soul on planet Earth who liked him. I said all that to her last week. As though I'm convinced that everybody who meets me likes me. How could I dare be on such an ego trip? 
How can I dare edge God out of the equation? Everybody doesn't like me. And I used to say so. I don't care if you don't like me. But I should care if the reason you don't like me was prompted and motivated and stirred up and established by me. I should care if you don't like me because of something I said out of foolishness, something I did out of stupidity, something I did out of my man mode. I should care if I caused you not to like me. Now, if you don't like me just because you don't like how my hair look, you don't like how I walk, you don't like how I look, that's all right. I can't do nothing about that. But I can do a lot about what I say. And so I'm taking inventory and I know I got to bring my mouth under subjection. I got to bring, see, 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 I, you know, you know I, I used to think as long as I can quit cussing, I'm all right. As long as I can quit using profanity, then God will be pleased with what I say. Because everything that I say, I try to make it the truth. But there are some times when the truth will only serve the one who knows it. And it won't serve anybody else because sometimes the truth is too painful for somebody else to hear. Is that making any sense to anybody? Have I helped anybody today? Did I help any stupid folk in here today? See, because I refuse to believe I'm the only one that can be stupid or who can do stupid stuff. I refuse to think that out of the few people or all of the people in here today, I'm the only one who needs to take an inventory of my life because there's some things that are on the wrong shelf. I refuse to believe that. I refuse to believe that. I may not know who you are, but you know who you are. Do I have a witness?